Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes, and this is the competition between the two gaming grandpas, Dulac by and myself, and we are going to be in the Gold Rush Lake. We're taking part in a total weight competition for 30 minutes in the morning in the wintertime. Fish fights are on, no battle royale. Now, Dula has been fairly new to this, but he beat me on the last step, last competition. He outdid me by just like 0.96% weight or something like that. Very little, so we were close, very close. But we're going to be going after primarily muskies this time and walleye if we can. So, anyway, guys, we should be getting this started as soon as he logs in. Go for a tiebreaker. Yeah, I think I kind of had an unfair advantage, and I think... Oh, no, 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 no. See, I don't agree with that at all. Okay. Um, I I got turned around and didn't find the, the finishing zone, but even if I didn't find the finishing zone, I mean, you had literally twice the weight that I did, so there's no, oh, I lost because I didn't get in the finishing zone. No, I lost because you caught a hell of a lot more fish than I did. Well, we caught the same amount of fish, but you... Caught the bigger ones. Uh, bigger ones so yeah well <coughs> all right no well your advantage at all you want to go for this one again or sure sure let's go ahead because uh, just like again okay all right we're getting ready to start here countdown all right Alrighty. okay let's see a little bit different spot here this time around. You can have Try that one right if you. Here. Yep, that's it. That's the spot. Oh, did I? What did I just take the spot you were going? Oh no, no. Yeah, so that's the oh, spot okay. that I was catching I'll, him at. I'll pull up stakes, I'll move. But no, no. Go ahead. Snipe your hole here. Just went to my another one that I know of. So the condition should be the same. That should help a little bit. Yeah. Well, I tried the mamishka with different baits, and all I was picking up was panfish. So I'm gonna focus on the predatory fish with the balanced jig this time around. And you know, because that's what I used in our first match when I came out a little bit ahead. Yeah. I should have stuck with what was working, but, you know, I wanted to change it up and try something different, have some fun that way. Well, if you're going, if we were to say do the most species or the most number, I think that's when you want to really use the Momishka. Yeah. If you're going for big fish, you want to use the balance lures or some of those other uh, spinning lures or whatnot, spoons. Yeah. Yeah, I had a whole collection of spoon stuff. Like I say, for some reason my account got reset. Mm, that sucks. I lost all my gear. I had the the big auger and uh, had probably about 25 different lures. Damn. And That's like six different rods. And I mean, I I was pretty kitted out. And it was a little bit of a bummer to come in and find out that I was back to ground zero, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry, dude. <laughs> That's a walleye. That is a walleye. Started right off the bat. Sounds like you're concentrating there. <laughs> what was that? You just got quiet. I figured you were concentrating. Oh, yeah. I, uh... Ah, damn it. Another line broke. Yeah, so I'm using the black rod with the red reel, the default rod. Yeah. Yeah, this one is a medium rod. It's just blue. I kind of picked it up because it was a... They were having some kind of a... 
anniversary special, and it's just, it's basically... Oh, then, so you're, you're actually using a rod that's capable of bringing up heavier fish than I am? Well, this is? No, it's supposed to be the same size. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh no. Though It just looks better. <laughs> Actually, I might go. Ahead. I've, as far I was going to say, if you were using a rod that was able to bring up heavier fish, that would give you an unfair advantage. Let me see. Hold on. Well, that looks pretty good. I think you're caught up with me. Mm, I think. I, yeah, I think we're about neck and neck right now. Mine's actually slightly less sensitive than the standard rods are, but I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other one just so that the I did notice that it tends to pull fish up a little quicker. Yeah, if it's less sensitive, it's a stiffer rod, so it'll have a faster retrieve. But, I mean, as long as it doesn't have a weight advantage, that's what matters. No, it doesn't it's... seem to. If it, if it doesn't have an advantage in terms of the weight of the fish that it can bring up, then then it's not giving you any unfair advantage. I mean, if you can reel the fish in a little faster, well, we're going by weight, not by number of fish. So right, right. I don't see where that would give you any kind of unfair advantage. You know, but if you're using a rod that can bring in, you know, twice as heavy a fish as I can, you know, that's well, a yeah. different. <laughs> oh, I have, I have that, but... Now I went ahead and went back to the black and red, <coughs> just to make sure. And it seems to be doing just fine. Musky. Nice. Glad I was a little musky. <laughs> Ooh, he pulled kind of hard. I was afraid he was going to break it. Another Xander. Nice Xander too. Now someone told me that they did put Xander for a while up in one of the, maybe in Lake Michigan or one of the lakes up there. And they were hybridizing with the walleye. Yep. I don't know if that makes them bigger or not, but... <laughs> there we go. That's a little bit better musky. There you go. Sometimes when they pull it real hard, you're like, uh, you're sure it's going to snap. <laughs> yeah. So what lure are you using taking all those walleye? It's called... Hold on just a second. Let me pull it up. I'll tell you. can't honestly remember what it's called. Um, it is called... Beast Hunter. Nice. 
and it's the walleye and the uh, muskies really seem to go for it but then sometimes so do the pike you don't get as many bluegill either which is what I'm trying to yeah. avoid <laughs> yeah I'll, have to, I'll have to pick one up at some point give it a go yeah because it definitely seems to hammer those wildlife for you no oh. doubt about that oh yeah yeah I think there's one of the muskies really like best but There'd be no way I could use it with this rod. Yeah. I've got the uh, green goblin. I think, I've, yeah, I've got three mamishkas and two balanced lures. Don't have any of the spoons. Um, like I say, with my account being reset, got to rebuild my lure collection. Well, you're going to have to because we're going to need to go compete for some big old carp. Yeah. Maybe some barracuda for that matter. <laughs> they do have night fishing here too, and that's the best time to fish for the barracuda. You don't catch as many, but when you catch them, <laughs> you're going to have one hell of a fight on your hands. Yeah, just got snapped off again. Jeez. <coughs> Yeah, these are, I think it's about time to move here. I've been, I have gone through all the levels and I think I might <coughs> head on over here. To that spot Change that I was at earlier. With, maybe I can pick up some lake trout. Whitefish maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they come pretty big. I've gotten 17 pounders out of here. Yeah, I think I've pretty much cleaned out all the pike and mostly right in this area in terms of anything I can pull up with this rod, so. Yeah. Yeah, if you get you a heavy rod and head towards the middle of where you are right now, you're going to pull in some massive muskies. used to be when the game first was created you could get quite the pile of fish going but it seems like after about about five or six it really slows down yeah ooh pike <laughs> well that was weird he landed on the fan, and now the fan is standing up straight on his tail. <laughs> yeah, I had one that ended up poked through the fan, too. Yeah. This is the year of the pig. Yep. I was born in the year of the snake. And I got snapped off. Bastard. Mm. Yep. It's a bit of a hazard. Hmm. 
was going to say this, but there we go. Usually, I wasn't getting a whole lot of bites here. Usually I get some here, but I also usually fish it in the evening. I was trying morning. Yeah. There they go. It's like as soon as I sit there and say that, they prove me wrong. <laughs> There you go. Nice one. Yeah, that'll help a little bit. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and it will help a little bit. thought I'd been snapped off again as hard as it went. And I think so far you got me. Got me by about a pound. I really couldn't tell this time. We've been kind of close. I think you may have me by closer to two pounds. So I forgot you picked up that one real big fella. Oh yeah, <laughs> forgot about him. <laughs> Muskies look like they're hugging. Whoa! You dropped on the ice. Oh yeah. Face to face, belly to belly like that. Looks like they're hugging each other. It's funny. <laughs> I think I'm going to move here. I'm getting not a whole lot of action here, honestly. Mm. Actually, I think I might go up to this little lake up here. I haven't been up. Oh, I can't get up. Okay, there we go. Got stuck there. <laughs> Figured I'd come over here and try this a little bit. I haven't done it in a while. find the my musky combo sorry I had to turn the sound off for a minute there Snoopy was going off <laughs> you there yep I'm here okay sorry about that I don't know what got his dander up but <laughs> had to wait until he stopped which I'm never sure that's not a bad boogie at all yeah we're looking a whole lot more even now not sure who's ahead now Yeah, I couldn't tell you. There's I no way to... Muskies in a row in that bluegill, and that definitely helped me. 
I think you're still ahead, quite frankly, but I'm at least making a better show of myself. Now this time if I don't get lost on the way back to the finish line, I might actually earn enough to go here on my line again. Damn it. This time I might actually earn enough to be able to get myself a heavy rod. Yeah, there you go. That was a little walleye. <laughs> Little bitty fella. Ooh, I wasn't sure that wasn't going to break. Actually, I'm still not sure it's going to break. <laughs> not bad. I think that just officially pulled you back out ahead again by a good two pounds. I knew he was a decent size because he was really giving me a fight. The one before him was so small I could hardly tell he was even a walleye. <laughs> I really like the ice fishing and ultimate fishing simulator. Yeah. If you're playing with a character that has the underwater camera, you can kind of exploit it because you can see the fish coming and if you time it just right you and you're fishing really, really shallow, you can take them right up and out instantly. Yeah, no fight at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are definitely some advantages to that one as well. I like the fact that it's got the fly fishing too. Yeah, I haven't tried the fly fishing in it yet. That's go. Yeah, other than that one fly fishing game that uh, I think that it's only got like one developer creating it. <laughs> I think that's the only yeah. other fishing game that has fly fishing. Now I'm getting some little fellas. <laughs> What's up with that? Now well, I did some fishing sim world and some ultimate fishing simulator but had some issues with my recordings mm. unfortunately. I ran into that with some other things too where I was getting it's like my audio was like a a second behind yeah well so there's variable bitrate and constant bitrate and a lot of the uh, software for editing doesn't recognize variable bitrate mm. and so what happens is you end up with your audio and your visual desynced and uh, what you end up having to do is you end up having to use an application to convert the video from variable bitrate to constant bitrate before you can um, deal with it. But using Bandicam, I just set it up for constant bitrate. And so it was very strange because I recorded probably an hour of gameplay, went to put together the video to put up on my channel, and my audio was desynced. Hmm. So I have no idea why it did so. Yeah, I had to go in. I actually went in um, the movie maker and shifted the audio over. 
Yeah. It took a while to figure out where it was, you know, where the timing was just right. And once I got it, it was fine, but it was a pain in the butt. And it was too good to just get rid of, so... There you go. Yeah. Getting a lot of these little guys. Oh, what's up with that? Yeah, I was gonna say, all of a sudden you're you're picking up a lot of much smaller fish. Did you go shallower or? Well, no. Actually, I just now went shallower to see if I get something different. <laughs> There's a lot of times the deeper you go, the bigger the fish are in this game. True. I don't know if there's really time to move, but I might go ahead and try it. Yeah, pretty <clears> much. <throat> I always fish right off the bottom. Of course, I'm over in this little lake. That might have something to do with it. Yeah. If I'm fishing for maximum numbers as opposed to maximum weight, I'll fish shallow with a mamushka. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we're almost to the end here. Yep, if I'm fishing for weight, I'll fish deep with a balanced lure. If I'm fishing for numbers, I'll fish shallow with a mamushka. It's way to go. Whoa, and I got snapped off again. You <laughs> son of a gun. Damn it. Yeah, yes. it'll be nice to get a stronger rod. Of oh. course, you know, when you when you move to the heavier rod, of course, it's nowhere near as sensitive. And then, then I miss a lot of bites from the smaller fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you don't get near it. You're not going to sit there and pull in the piles that we're doing here. Yep. Yeah, hopefully I can pick up one more decent one. Almost out of time. Yep. Oh, good guy, dogs. Yeah, this should be the last fish, whatever it is. I think it's a smaller bluegill again. From the way it's handling. Now, actually, he's not bad. All right. Oh wow, crappie! I haven't got one of those for a while. Gonna have to be good enough. See if I can manage to find the finish line this time. I think you got me. I think you got me by about four pounds. Yeah, it's kind of a strange starting place right here on the railroad tracks, but... Mm-hmm. But... You kind of... I wish there was some way to play a whole bunch of people, you know? <laughs> See how much you got me by. I couldn't tell you. Whoa! Whoa! There you go. You beat me. Uh, that that surprises me. I thought you had. I thought it was quite the very opposite. I figured flip them two numbers and you'd have them have what was going on. No, no, that's not bad. Not oh, bad at all. There we go. Our Best two out of three. I took it quite yes, to my did. surprise. I gotta say honestly, I thought you had me. I thought you had me by about four pounds. I don't know. I've lost. You know, there's really no way to keep track that I know of. There might be a way yeah. to to check, but if there is, I have no idea how. But yeah, now I thought those, it was pretty close. Those three big musky I took in in a row must have 
must have been the difference. Yeah. Well, you just needed a little bit of practice on it. Well, hey, it got me got me enough coins to finally pick up a, a heavier rod. So there you I, go. I'm not gonna complain. I wouldn't. <laughs> All right. Well, it was fun to do some ice lakes for a change. We haven't done this in quite some time. And well, it's been a couple of years, I think. At least. Oh, I don't think it's been. I don't think it's been that long. But I do have to say that. Uh, I may, I may have taken it overall, but that second round, you absolutely trounced me. You had almost twice as, as much weight in fish as I did on that second match. Holy crap. Yeah. You were, you were hammering those walleyes like crazy. I hit a real sweet spot that time. It didn't pay off for me this time for some reason, but, you know, that can happen. So. Yeah. Well, I had, uh, I had to find my combo, and once I found my combo, I was, I was pulling some pretty decent bluegills and, and pulling those muskies so oh yeah makes all the all difference right. well, we will definitely do more of this and of course we're we'll doing more videos together as always all right sounds great all right guys as we always say aim straight cast far and have fun and if you're gonna be a bear be a grizzly bye bye guys